Life Must Go On is an art exhibition which premiered in Cave on March 1st. The exhibit combines various disciplines including painting, digital art, poetry, and music, resulting in a unique display. The authors of the project include the Cave Digital Art Group, Skills, and Lviv artist Lilia Studnetska. Explaining what media art is, the director of the Lavra Gallery, Tatiana Mironova, spoke to attendees. Media art has become very popular in the world today. Media art commands a lot of disciplines, including graphics, computers, mathematics, paintings, and even film, which we saw today called Life Must Go On. In it, we can hear a poem by Lina Kostenko, curated music and beautiful graphics. This is all media art. Recently, Skills won first place at the Kyiv's Festival of Light and Media Art. The project incorporates the poetry of famous Ukrainian poet Lina Kostenko. The group brought her poetry to life through the use of curated music and digital art. We found a unique poem by Lina Kostenko. For a long time we were in search of something unlike the rest of Ukrainian literature. Lina Kostenko is really quite unique and her words are very inspiring. We found this poem and began working on the visualizations bit by bit. It all came together in this beautiful piece, into the singular light motif. Life flows, it flows quickly. It was before us, it is now and it will go on. And we are just one point on this timeline. Parallel to the light show is a series of paintings called The Night by Lviv artist Lilia Studnitska. The collection depicts the Carpathian Mountains with a color palette that accents the mountains in darkness. This project was created this year. I took a long time to gather information, travel to the mountains and draw sketches. Then I gathered all of my thoughts and created this project, the night. It is an interesting time in general. Only at night can you see certain colors and notice things that you never would during the day. The exhibition's organizers hope to wow visitors until its conclusion at the end of March.